What's the weirdest animal in the ocean? I gotta say a jellyfish for sure. Oh, I was right. Jellyfish. Immortal jellyfish. Wow, that's weird. They might not have a proper brain, blood, or even a heart, but some jellyfish species can live forever. What are their secrets to survival? Hey, Kylie, how are these things alive? Jellyfish are really simple creatures. So they effectively consist of a layer of tissue that covers the outside of their body and a layer of tissue that covers the inside of their body. And between those two layers of tissue is mainly water with a few collagen fibres. Okay. And they can grow very quickly because they're effectively 95% water. Jellyfish are so simple that all they really need to do is to add more water to their body. They're almost like a little bit like a water balloon. A body that's mostly water is great camouflage in the ocean and they need to hide because they can't really see their predators coming. So they have very simple eyes. Jellyfish have eyes? Yes. But most of them can detect just changes in light intensity and perhaps light direction, but they certainly can't form an image. Mm -hmm. They don't have a well-developed brain. They've got a very simple nervous system, so they can probably respond to stimuli, but they have no cognitive ability. Who needs eyesight when you can shoot venom? Underwater cinematographer Dean Crop has swum with deadly jellies. Some jellyfish have stingers. They've got nematocysts that they can sting you with. And some are very, very deadly, especially the box jellyfish, which I grew up with up in far north Queensland. I've been stung on my foot and it was so painful. I screamed and I yelled and I said many, many horrible profanities. The reason their toxin is so, so strong is it catches animals and feeds on them. And if that animal isn't immobilized straight away, as it kicks and struggles, it will just tear that fragile jellyfish apart. I was lucky because other people who do get hit on the chest or the neck, it can cause you lifelong damage or it can take your life. There's another variety that's just like the Terminator. They just won't die. So typically with a jellyfish life cycle, the life cycle goes in one direction. So you have the medusa that produced the larvae, the larvae produce the polyps, and then the polyps produce the medusa again. Mm. But we found that in some species of jellyfish, they're actually capable of reversing their life cycle. Wow. So there are some species where the medusa can actually revert back into being a polyp form. It can actually just swim back down to the sea floor and it will just slowly revert back into this tiny little polyp form. Um, that's, yeah, wow. So those polyps could persist potentially for multiple years and it restocks the population of medusae every um, season. In theory, it could be immortal, but in reality, something will eventually kill it. So it's unlikely to be truly immortal. Many animals are facing extinction, but some jellyfish species are exploding. They gather in masses or blooms. I had an extraordinary experience with jellyfish off of the east coast of Newfoundland, Canada in Terranova National Park. We accidentally stumbled across this massive, massive bloom. Wow. From the surface of the water all the way down to about 15 meters of depth were solid jellyfish. It felt like being in this mass of squishy rubber balls. It was almost as if it was an organism in and of itself. Being able to see sort of the beauty and grace of their swimming, but also to look inside and see what they've just eaten is incredible. It was so exciting to be in and amongst them. I literally wanted to breathe every last breath out of my tank before getting out of the water. Bloom encounters seem to be happening more often. So the blooms might occur just because of the aggregation that's driven by current. A female medusa will produce thousands upon thousands of larvae. Wow. So it's a really prolific way of reproducing. I think in terms of the weirdness scales, I thought it couldn't get any weirder than the four penises on an echidna. But jellyfish have got to be, they're immortal, no blood, no ears. They can grow up this big and never die. That's weird. <laughs>